To reduce unnecessary burdens on the healthcare system and clients, refill-only visits should be considered separately to clinical visits. In most settings, clinical visits are required every six months, whereas the number of ART refill visits depends on the maximum duration of ART available. In this video, we will explore the standard operating procedure for a group model managed by healthcare workers from the perspective of the client and the healthcare worker. This model is sometimes known as club refill. Meet Sophia. Sophia was diagnosed with HIV two years ago and is now established on treatment. However, she often feels alone in her experience of living with HIV and is in need of more support. This is why she has chosen the club refill model. This model brings together groups of 10 to 20 people established on treatment. She meets with her group every three months in a meeting room next to her clinic at 3 p.m. On arrival, the group is given an activity to get them feeling comfortable. The healthcare worker then facilitates a group discussion and members are asked to share their feelings and any challenges or positive experiences. Sophia now feels comfortable sharing this kind of information. After the discussion, Sophia receives her pre-packaged medication, says goodbye to the group and heads home. This visit takes no more than an hour. From the perspective of the healthcare worker, this scenario looks like this. John is a counsellor and he's assigned to facilitate the club refill where he works. Every week, he facilitates three club refills. The nurse has already screened and assigned clients into different groups. Today, he meets with one of the groups in the clinic meeting room at 3 p.m. All of the members arrive on time and after a quick activity, John leads a discussion asking members if they have any clinical problems or experiences regarding their health that they would like to discuss. John attends to any issues of concern and hands out pre-pack treatment. Without DSD, how might the scenario have played out? If Sophia had continued collecting her refills from the clinic, she may have felt isolated and unsupported through her HIV journey. This may have resulted in her missing her treatment on some days as she was struggling with lifelong adherence. John knows that these consultations with clients in the clinic setting can be very rushed. In these scenarios, the individual needs of the client can be missed and treatment compromised 